the industry is reacting strongly to the DeepSeek R1 release. It is an incredible model, completely open source, open weights. They shared all of their secrets of how it actually works and how they were able to accomplish it. A flood of open source thinking models is right around the corner. Let me show you how the industry is reacting to this right now. Dr. Jim Fan top researcher at NVIDIA has this to say about the new open source thinking model by DeepSeek. We are living in a timeline where a non-US company is keeping the original mission of open AI alive, truly open frontier research that empowers all. It makes no sense. The most entertaining outcome is the most likely. DeepSeek R1 not only open sources a barrage of models, but also spills all the training secrets. They are perhaps the first OSS project that shows major systems sustained growth of an RL flywheel. Now, what does he mean by RL flywheel? It basically means there was no human feedback in the loop. That means the biggest bottleneck in any system, a human, has been removed. He goes on to say something pretty funny. Impact can be done by ASI achieved internally or mythical names like Project Strawberry basically talking about the memes. Yes, of course, I contribute to those. Impact can also be done by simply dumping the raw algorithms and matplotlib learning curves. So he's basically saying you can either hype it up or you could just show the goods. He goes on to talk about the actual details of the paper, but I'll save that for another video. Next, Alex Chima shows his Mac mini setup. This looks incredible. I am very jealous of this setup. And he basically says, I will run AGI at home or die trying. He is going to get DeepSeek R1 running locally, the biggest version. DeepSeek R1 should run fast on these Macs. They have a total of 896 gigabytes of unified memory at 3,557 gigabytes per second. Massive setup. I still have plans to build one of these systems myself with multiple Mac minis chained together. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Twitter user Cash had something funny to say about it. Holy shit, it's MIT, meaning the license, fully permissible, fully open source, fully open weights. No, Sam Altman, no, you told me you had a boat. No, I want refunds. So it's a free model. There's really nothing else to say about that. Rather than paying $200 a month or eventually maybe $2,000 a month, you get 01 level reasoning for free. Run it locally if you want, run it in the cloud for a fraction of the price of 01. Now you can also get one of the distilled models that are really, really good, basically better than any other non-thinking, non-frontier model out there locally on your computer and run it quite easily. In fact, let me show you how good they are. Here's somebody from the Hugging Face team. DeepSeek R1 distill of Quen 1.5b outperforms GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on math benchmarks with a 28.9 on AIM and 83.9 on math. 1.5b did what? 1.5b. This is a model you can run on nearly any modern computer. It doesn't even matter if it's high end or not. And LM Arena, formerly LM Sys, says it's already in the arena. Congrats, Deep Sieg, on the R1 release, an open reasoning model matching OpenAI 01 in hard benchmarks like GPQA, Sweebench, and AIM. Now imagine this, you're an engineer, you're on a plane, and you need to code. You can spin up your IDE, plug in any tab completion or better AI coding assistant, and then run it with DeepSeek running locally. Now, obviously you're gonna need a distilled version or a quantized version, but still the potential is incredible. Now for the real world challenge, R1 is in lmarena.ai for human evaluation, bring it your toughest prompts and challenge it. So I've already showed you this chart in the previous video, but as you can see, R1 outperforms Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, DeepSeek V3, O1 Mini, and O1 on most benchmarks. It is so impressive. Ethan Mollick, a professor at Wharton of AI, really a leading mind in the world of artificial intelligence, says a completely new open reasoning model out of China, DeepSeagar One, is now available. The benchmarks show it at parity with the likes of O1 and Sonnet. So he says it's really good, not O1 Pro level, but surprisingly capable. Now, here's the key. The smallest versions can run in my laptop. This is a pretty big leap because the only reasoning test time compute models so far have been from Google and OpenAI. I. Now, what does this actually mean for the US versus China? Because DeepSeek is a model out of China. Dean W. Ball on Twitter has some interesting things to say. 
Chinese labs will likely to continue to be fast followers in terms of reaching similar benchmark performance to US models. So trailing, but right behind. And then they're also open sourcing it, which is incredible. I feel like Llama 4 might be right around the corner. I really hope it is. And it's probably going to be a thinking model. The impressive performance of DeepSeek's distilled models, the smaller versions, mean that very capable reasoners will continue to proliferate widely and be runnable on local hardware, far from the eyes of any top-down control regime, including the U.S. diffusion rule. Open models are going to have strategic value for the U.S., and we need to figure out ways to get more frontier open models out to the world. We rely exclusively on Meta for this right now, which, while great, is just one firm. Why do OpenAI and Thropic not open source their older models? What would be the harm? Love that thinking. Absolutely. And a couple interesting thoughts from Emad, founder of Stability AI. My take on R1, the global economy is truly cooked. We need a new economic and social framework. Now, he's being a little bit tongue in cheek because he retweeted his December 20th take. My take on O3, same tweet exactly. He also takes a little jab at OpenAI and Anthropic. Can you imagine being a frontier lab that's raised like a billion dollars and now you can't release your latest model because it can't be deep seek? Soda can be a big if that's your target, so to being state of the art. Aravind, the CEO of Perplexity, says DeepSeek has largely replicated O1 Mini and has open sourced it. Now, I would love to see DeepSeek in Perplexity. And again, keep in mind, it is a fraction of the price. Emad replies, it's near O1 levels and 90% cheaper than O1 Mini and 95% cheaper than O1. And another tweet from Arvind, the CEO of Perplexity, it's kind of wild to see reasoning get commoditized this fast. Agreed. We should fully expect an O3 level model that's open source by the end of the year, probably even mid-year. Staying with the open source is three to six months behind closed source? Yes. This is true. I actually expect at the beginning of Q2, we're going to get Llama 4 thinking and definitely O3 level performance by some kind of open source thinking model in Q2, maybe the beginning of Q3. All right, we also have the founder of Ader, one of the best AI coding assistants out there, really the only one that can understand an entire code base, not just parts of it, saying DeepSeek R1 gets 57% on Ader polyglot benchmarks, ranks second behind O1. So here we see 62% on O1 high and 57% on DeepSeek R1. Really powerful performance. And LM Studio already has the distilled versions ready to go. So if you want to download them locally, you can absolutely do that right now. Disclosure, I'm a small investor in LM Studio, but it also just happens to be my favorite way to run models locally. And it has all of the variants there. So go ahead, try it out. So DD VC at Menlo Ventures says DeepSeek matches O1 performance at 25 to 30 times cheaper per million input cached. O1 seven and a half dollars, fifteen dollars and sixty dollars. O1 preview one and a half, three dollars and twelve dollars. DeepSeek fourteen cents, fifty five cents and two dollars and nineteen cents, a fraction of the price. And what did we talk about? As intelligence gets cheaper, it doesn't mean the market's going to shrink. It actually means the market's going to grow. More use cases are going to be available as these prices drop. And I want to end with one thing. DeepSeek is a Chinese model, so it is going to be censored. If you ask it about Taiwan, if you ask it about Tiananmen Square, it's not going to answer. Here's the thing, though. It's open source and open weights. So when fine tuners get their hands on it, they can essentially remove that censorship. So just keep that in mind. Open source is awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.